And while I was uh, washing my hand off, Chantal was drying the two hands here. So no. we're finished. And how long did it take you to dry them? It took about five to seven minutes. Um, especially with the more paint, you're going to want to apply even more drying time. Just to make sure. Yes. You'll be surprised. Like the top layer is like dried, but underneath it, it's still wet. So. Oh, wow. Okay, great. So now we're ready to hand paint my name. Because this is going to be my t-shirt. Yeah, so we're going to hand paint Grace's name. Um, did you want to write it out or did you want me to? I could, no, I'll write it out. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit different than, uh, they do have, have fabric pens, fabric paint pens. Um, this is a little bit different. It's a little harder than you think. But um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna start out with this. So you can go All ahead right. and use the paint on that sponge if you'd like. I love re like using every ounce of paint that I possibly can. So if there's extra paint in the bottom of the, you know, you, you want to use as much as you can because it can run expensive sometimes. So this is hard to do. So instead of Grace, I probably spell my name John, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. So I started here. You're going to want to hold down wherever hold you want. Hold down. It, okay. So you hold the other side. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So here. Make sure you're painting in a straight line. I can paint on with a straight line without having a ruler or anything oh. down. Some people can't. So you want to also make sure that you're, you're placing your letters in the right place. Some people really do have to measure out where every letter will be. Um, some people don't. I don't. Um, but you want to make sure that everything is placed. And don't be afraid to, I know it's not the most creative part, but I know when you have a ruler or stuff like that, you're measuring certain things out, you're like, oh, this is boring. It's, it's, it, it's worth it just to have everything looking as good as it possibly can. So assess your strong points, assess your weaknesses, and find a way to, you know, compensate for everything altogether. Very cool. So I'm not doing that bad, huh? No, it looks perfect. Nice. She's doing really well. So more or less, like, you figure where the line is, and mm -hmm. you go for it. And I see how you... Kind of even out the paint as you go along. It's not That's just like one brush stroke, you know, you just kind of like go. Yeah, you keep evening it out. You can even just do one really thin layer and then keep going over it. The more you go over it, the more it's going to it's gonna do well. With certain um, paint brands, though, you want to be careful because if you're painting way, way, way too much, it might crack. Tulip doesn't Ooh, seem to have that problem. Really? I mean, when, you, when it dries, like you'll, you start to see like it cracking, and when it fades, it starts to crack because there's just too much paint. So. so what brands of paint do you recommend so, to avoid that? I really love Tulip. I think they do a really good job. For Burgundy, So Soft is really good. Um, for Black, Black uh, Speedball is really good. Um, their, their White is also really good, but it's one of those that if you layer it too much, it'll crack. But I don't. Actually, Tulip's White I don't use. Speedball's White is fantastic. It's, it's, I mean, it really gets, it's really bright. 